To understand how a differential pressure transmitter works, we need to know some principles of pressure. The pressure is the result of force applied onto a unit of area. In the case of fluid and gas, this area would be the inside of a pipe, tank, vessel, or other sealed housing. Since pressure is a physical quantity, it can be measured. The pressure is measured in one of the following five units. Pascal, bar, standard atmosphere, or ATM, tor, and pounds per square inch, or PSI. Pressure transmitters can measure absolute, gauge, or differential pressures. Absolute pressure is reference to a perfect vacuum, which is considered zero PSI. We express vacuum pressure as zero PSI absolute pressure. Atmospheric pressure is usually about 14.7 PSI absolute pressure. The most common pressure measurement is gauge pressure, which is the total pressure minus the atmospheric pressure. Atmospheric pressure is zero PSI gauge pressure. The versatility of a differential pressure transmitter gives us the flexibility to measure level and flow as well as pressure. Let's have a look at an example of a pressure transmitter measuring process pressure of gases in a pipeline. The pressure transmitter will send a current signal to the PLC, which represents the process pressure. The pressure transmitter is calibrated to provide a current range of 4 to 20 milliamps for a process pressure range of 0 to 350 psi.